All right, here we are again. Guess we'll talk about the axles right now. Ah, let me get a comfortable seat. See this? Remember the problem with this rocking back and forth? A man stopped, I'll explain this later. A man stopped yesterday wanting to buy this thing for junk and uh, he explained to me that this is a common problem and I can see it because you're driving along through the brush and all of a sudden you hit a tree stump bang it just rocks it and messes this up but this this see what I did This is round two of three. I'll explain the welder in a minute. See that? That's back. I use this as a guide. Brushed it, cleaned it, sanded it, got it all clean. Put in weld. Use this as a guide. Hand file. It's the only thing I can come up with. I found a file that fit between. Hand file. Test fit it, clean it up again, grind all these little spots down, weld back in again, I'll explain the welders, see the welder, $60 I paid for it, um, this weld is for layering, it's uh, something 71 something 11, it ends with 11, it means you can weld on top of weld. You can build up welds. So I got that wire for it. This is a cheap flux core welder. Now, see these marks? The question is, where does this go and how do I know if it's right? Well, I put this in. I got the o-ring in there so I don't want to put it in right now. I put this in to place. I used See the wedges over there? That's for the next video. I used the new wedge in and I used the same guide. I pushed it all the way in and I used this as my guide. So with the new wedge, remember the $52 wedge? Onto here, I found my mark and I marked it where it's supposed to go. Then I put a level across here and because this is all messed up it's definitely not even. By the way both of these on both sides are the same. They're interchangeable. I put a level across here and I wedged it till I found level. And I pulled the wedge out, slid it out to this position, reached my fingers in here to find it in my finger. I found the sweet spot and then I remarked it. You can hardly see him now, but I remarked where that should be. By using the level when I pull it out, within reason, I can find the sweet spot. These marks told me where it's supposed to be. By using this in a new by using this in a new wedge. Well done, weld off. Weld on, weld off. That's two. I got one more phase to do. I'll put, I'll clean these out, grind these out with a little grinder. Now this is a very cheap welder. Uh, torch, remember the torches I used to break the bushing loose on my homemade shot press? I heated these up with the torches. I preheated this because it's a cheap garbage welder I used. I don't have any money. What can I say? If I had money, I'd have a hundred thousand dollar John Deere. Now the welder. This is a Century 80. It only has two switches, high low, range. I've been using it on range, which I believe is the wire feed speed, one and on high. This thing, I thought I'd have to run a heavy 
cord on at least a 20 amp breaker but I'm running it on a regular extension cord and it hasn't overheated yet. This is the wire feed flux core. First thing I did I cut the old clamp off and put this one on because this is a flux core this isn't negative this is positive and this end is negative. All right. Now this welding wire, flux core again, because the polarity is reversed when you're using flux core. Uh, this is something 71 something 11, key number is 11, because you can layer this welding. This was messed up. See where I taped it? There's a metal tube in there, you can barely see the end of it, maybe, maybe not, inside that plastic. That tube, that metal, was all the way down to here. I had to cut this open to get the metal out. I tried feeding the wire and it went through the outside all the way to here and quit. And then it bunched in because I used the feeder. It bunched up in here. Made a mess. I wasted probably 30 feet of this wire. Um, just to let you know, if you buy one of these junk ones used, because I don't have any money. I paid 60 bucks. I overpaid. Make sure you see the metal there and you're feeding the wire through the metal, not through the outside edge. Uh, but it's cheap. It says max too high. It's not made for what I'm using it for, but it's all I got. So that's what I did over there. And I used these clamps to hold that bracket on while I hand filed it. Use a coarse file, not your regular bastard file. Um, let's get to this. This I had turned down. Can you see that shiny spot? Right there at the top of my thumb. This is how far I had to turn it to re-true this. Um, I talked to a guy. He let me into his cellar shop. Nice guy. We worked together. I taught him a few things. He taught me a few things. And he did this. You can see how much I took off. Now, this is at an inch 275. I found a bushing that fits the race. Again, this is because I don't have the $500 for another one of these. Because that cost me an extra $500. So that fits there. This will be pressed back into the final drive. But now I have to turn this another 25 thousandths down and hope this doesn't break off sooner or later to make that fit and the guy won't call me back all right this is the felt washer I was talking about before in the other videos that goes right here see at the top of my fingernail right there this piece of metal you bend it over to hold these on I foolishly, because I was thinking about these lock washer problems, I bought new lock washers and put them in here with that. And guess what they did? See the see the scratch mark? Those aren't that isn't a new scratch mark. It was scratching. But then I took I put four bolts in and realized my problem because you can't get that you got to turn this which is a problem which is a problem when you're um, you can't get that in there you can only use an open-end wrench strange and this happens to be 7 8 so you got to turn this when you're mounting this back on you got to feed it through the hole I use this block and these blocks and that cart made out of an old wheelchair to bring it over here get it in place um, $30.50 a handful of metric bolts and washers. Um, I made a mistake. I used the longer bolts when I put this together. And then when I put this together, I realized I ended up with the shorter bolts. See the difference in sizes? Here. This is for the other side. See these shims? These were in the toolbox in the tractor. They weren't 